I kind of just came to the conclusion that who I really want to like prove to like the one person that I really want to prove anything to is to myself and yeah the, that's the reason why I I I took the job to come back to Europe when I could have just like you know r rode the money for another year in a Hello everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller, joined here by the return, the, the out of the NA retirement of the new OG Mithy. Yeah. How are you doing today? Uh, doing good, doing good. Uh, biked quite a bit today. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fresh, ready to scream in a bit. I spoke with the Fisher earlier and he was like, man, I've not seen so much fire from a veteran player as I've seen from Mithy coming back to you and like wanting to prove himself and wanting to prove everyone wrong. Is that like a, a core of your of your drive right now? The dedication to, to prove yourself again? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's mostly for myself, really. Like, uh, I, I, like uh, I mean, uh, I've, I've gotten like praise, I've gotten hate, I've, I've gone through different phases of like what fans think, what people think, so... I kind of just came to the conclusion that who I really want to like prove to like the one person that I really want to prove anything to is to myself and yeah the re that's the reason why I I I took the job to come back to Europe when I could have just like you know r rode the money for another year in a it's just because uh I I want to keep playing for a long time and uh this is my way of like you know uh yeah yeah just staying at the top what was the off season like for you personally so you came back to to EU for like family and that kind of stuff and were you already set on coming back to you in general or were you just like exploring options and origin reached out to you what was the situation kind of like for you uh i mean i i had some vacation i chilled in like i i had no plans of going back to europe in theory um i like I don't know how much I can talk about it, but I think I, I can safely say that. Uh, actually, I don't know what I can say. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I'll talk for myself. Um, I I went on vacation. I went to Hawaii. I went to Amsterdam. I chilled in LA, and uh, and then I I got back home and I I just like I didn't really know that I was gonna get kicked or anything. So I just like. When I was home, I just decided to kind of like slowly get back in shape. Mm -hmm. So since my accounts were really low MMR, I could only like go get back to practice by playing in houses. So I played a few in houses, which didn't go very well because I mean I obviously had not practiced for like a month or so. I played a little bit in America, but you know I wasn't really uh, super spamming the game. And all I did was just like go online at like 7 p.m. when we had the in houses, play two games, and mm -hmm. go back offline. You know so. Uh, yeah, I was just I, I was just chilling, and then um, the in house is kind of like uh, motivated me a little bit. And then when the whole um, TSM kicking me fiasco happened, then uh, I kind of just like got like even more motivation to kind of be like, wow, like it's funny that people think that I am I'm bad now. When uh, I mean, it, it just I, I don't, I'm not even gonna try to explain myself. It's just like I, I just thought that. Um, it, it was a, a good opportunity for me to like find motivation back, uh, motivation that doesn't really like come from goals or like achievements, but comes from like an inner fire of myself to just get better and like you know like uh, just prove to myself that I, I still have it and and that's kind of what I did. I spammed solo queue and now I'm back here and I'm starting to play scrims here. Yeah. And again, you're getting tons of praise from from your teammates and uh, the future, of course. Uh, was it uh, what was the situation situation like regarding you and Sven? Given that you know you've been playing together for such a long time, you were like the iconic best Western bot line, and all these names and titles and things about that regard. Uh, was it was it difficult to to split up eventually to make that decision or like to to have that happen? Sorry. Well, it wasn't really my decision, yeah, so um, I, it wasn't difficult for me because I didn't really have to choose uh, to split up or not. Um, I I just tried to look at what happened, and what happened is that we split up. Mm. So uh, the best thing that can come out of change is growth, and that's kind of what I I'm looking for from from this from like the the breakup or whatever <laughs> you want to call it, you know. 
but yeah, like that's that's as much as I can I can talk about it. You know, it's yeah. it's just what it is. That's fair. Uh, now, Mithy uh, coming to a team and getting a rookie um, ADC that renames. We've heard that story somewhere before, and it ended up uh, really, really well last time around. Uh, what are your thoughts on on Patrick um, so far as a player? Um, I mean, as a player, it's hard to tell because we're just screaming in the off season. So there's like I don't know how he plays on stage, and I have very little experience to see how he plays. But overall, he seems like a very chill guy that I am very comfortable around. Um, he enjoys league a lot. He likes playing a lot, and that's something that I look for in my in my AD, like someone that kind of like you know like has that fire that I can look towards and uh, play with, you know, and motivates me to get better because he is like always practicing and so on. Uh, other than that, I mean, I, I think uh, yeah, he's just really funny. I I'm always <laughs> giggling around him, and and it's just cool to have like that that kind of thing where I'm just like having fun playing the game. So. That's that's pretty much it, you know. I can't really like analyze him after like two or three days of scrims. Fair. So like no no like oh yeah he's the best mechanical player I've ever yeah, played. No no it's 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 not that you know like he he's he's like he's young you know but he he's like very outgoing and that's something that I I I really I really like because um, it makes me just feel more comfortable be able to you know like have a beer with him and so on. It's just something. That uh, like for example, in America, I couldn't have beers with eighteen-year-olds. So that's right. that's uh, you know, it's it's a pretty big deal. But you know, like just having like having some time and space to like just you know, like the other day we were like a little bit tipsy, and he tells me like, oh man, we should duo now. This is probably like the best time to duo, you know. So that's kind of nice, you know, like uh, just like having a more uh, like fun chill. relationship, chill. Yeah, that, that that's nice. I mean, when when it's game time, I I'm I'm obviously you know in game phase on, but. But yeah, having like that 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 break is I feel like it's it's a good thing. It's a good balance for yeah. sure. Um I I spoke with Colt earlier and he obviously uh had a pretty difficult year on unicorns not making playoffs twice. Um the team not being up to the expectations, but he himself said that he grew a ton during this year because he, he learned about a lot about himself but also in the way that he um behaves around teammates and stuff. Uh Reflecting now on the, on the last year or the 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 last year on TSM, would you uh, are there like positive things, negative things? Um, your overall experience, what was it like now that it's over essentially? Well, I don't I don't regret going to TSM. Um, it was the best time in my career to give it a shot. Um, now I can look back to my career and be like, at least I tried, you know. So. I definitely have no regrets, but there was definitely more negative than positive. I don't really see much positive that comes out of it, except taking the negative and using it as growth, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that I took for granted in Europe that were not really a thing there. And um, now that I'm back here, it just feels extra nice to see all those things that I took for granted back because I can now appreciate them uh, just like how the team behaves and talks to each other and like how more social we are and like just like how it feels more like a like a brotherhood rather than just five guys doing the job and everyone for themselves you know so it just feels like more cozy to be <laughs> back in like with a with I mean, maybe it's not europe maybe it's just my teammates but um definitely feels nicer here yeah maybe it's like just a thing being more outgoing in Europe and stuff like that. I, I think in a, it was it in a TSM Legends series you said that the team needed to have like a, a, a like a room or a, everyone sits together and just really says what they dislike about each other and like all the negative energy kind of gets out and then everyone not talks about uh, to each other and then everything is refreshed because that's something you were used to from from Europe is that something um that was missing as well? I mean yeah, uh, I think I think TSM kind of knows what. I mean, I I I voiced my my concerns and uh, they're they are usually very on top of things. So um, probably next year they will take care of some of the things that I voiced, or maybe I was just like the black sheep, and uh, now it's all gonna be better. You know, like I can't really tell, but mm. I had I definitely had my concerns with regarding how the 
it wasn't really how the org was like was structured or anything. It had nothing to do with that. It was, it, they were they treated me very nicely. It was just mostly uh, from like the coaching staff, player culture mm. base that I. I had an idea of what it was, you know, like play, you know, winning is everything and so on. But the way you get there, I think they had it wrong, in my opinion. So, um, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, maybe I'm the black sheep or maybe they'll change some things, you know, half, half. We'll see. Usually, usually both sides are at least a little bit right from, from my yeah, experience. Exactly. You know? um, but enough about NA and TSM and all, all that kind of stuff. You are returning to Origin in particular, of course. I mean, that's that's pretty huge. OG Mishthi is a, is a thing again. Or was that like uh, something that you had in the back of your mind as well? Like returning to this team in particular? Um, honestly, like my last experience with Origin was pretty bad. Uh, like it was, I mean, OG didn't, like the org didn't really have their shit together. And I left in wrong terms too. Mm -hmm. So... I feel like it was mostly my fault. I mean, obviously, like, they were not doing things right, but I could have just, you know, like, just waited one more split and then left. But, uh, you know, we're, like, we're young and we just want to do things, like, instantly. We're, like, yeah. we're too high dopamine uh, nowadays. So, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, I could have, I, I definitely could have been more professional and so on. But, but yeah, the, the idea for me is, like, when I came here, even though I'm joining Origin, the whole structure and the org behind it, the way they wrote it, to, like they, they be, made it be, made me believe it to be, which now is true, you know, like I've been here and I've, I see some of the things that they're doing and it's, it's, it's really insane. And uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is what I look for, you know, this is what I look for as a professional. And uh, that's the reason why I joined Origin. I didn't join Origin because of old OG Mithy, I'm back and so on. It just happened to be. Okay. I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm ungrateful for it or anything. You know, I just ride along with whatever happens. But uh, there's more to it than just that. You know, it's it's more mostly about like finding a professional org that has like things in the like in the like the structure how I want it to be, and then uh, that believes in me, and and that's that's what they told me. So that's why I'm here, and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, the infrastructure here is uh, amazing, honestly, from, from what I've seen around Refresh here. Uh, is there any team in particular that you're looking forward to play? I mean, G2 has to be up there going up against Luca. I mean, come on, that needs to be on the list. Yeah, I mean, um, right now our goals for uh, Origin, we're kind of taking it a little bit slow. We're just, uh, you know, trying to get to know each other. Um, see how we play on stage and so on. But obviously I'm excited to play every team, really. Like there's uh, there's so many good supports in Europe that I haven't played for a while and that have improved so much. Uh, look at Hillisang, for example, like he changed teams and now he's crazy good, you know? So, I mean, he's always been good, you know, but like that that's that, that flip, you know, it also makes a big difference. So um, I'm just I'm just excited to get to learn from all these, all these new guys, all these like promising talents and so on and uh, try to like, you know, like, chip in my my own little experience and see what i can bring into to the team but the main idea right now is to just like you know like form a nice brotherhood and get to know each other and uh just try our best and uh uh yeah just have a good time together and get to playoffs i mean i mean yeah definitely get to playoffs and but but it's like a it's like a process you know like the the most important thing right now is to to just like I feel like once we do what I just said, you know, like get together, uh, form a brotherhood, you know, and slowly start improving and, you know, have like that mindset of we can do better and so on. We'll we'll do even better than just getting to playoffs. You know, it's it's all just a process that if everyone is willing to work hard, we'll, we'll be more than... Everything comes naturally. Yeah, everything will just come naturally. Very nice, very nice. Now, one last question. People... Obviously, you know, on, on social media and stuff, they are very quick to judge and doubt and all that kind of jazz. Uh, and people have questioned, hey, Mithy has been playing for such a long time at this point. Are his mechanics still up to scratch? Well, what would you reply to that? Are your mechanics still up to scratch? I mean, that's not up to me to to this, to tell. I'm not going to argue with, like, goldfish on Twitter, you know. <laughs> that's... The, the that that's that's just you know like if they want to think that then they, they can think that if they want to think the opposite they can think the opposite that's not going to change my own perspective and view on things and that's what's important to me and that's that's about it you know okay that, that's a very fair answer of course <laughs> anything you want to say to the fans out there 
Um, yeah, uh, just thanks to the fan, thanks to the the guys that you know support me. Um, uh, hello, like to the Origin fans, you know, and uh, yeah, just uh, believe in me. I, I just like I believe in myself, and uh, I'll 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 make sure to make you guys proud. Very nice. Now, at the end of each interview, uh, we do a little hashtag that you get to decide on. So people can put it in the comments to prove that they've watched the entire interview. They're the real MVPs for watching the entire interview, of course. So is there a hashtag that you would like to, to make them put in the comments? Uh, hashtag. Oh, you can do the, the hashtag support king. Yeah. Yeah, that one is good, yeah. Hashtag, hashtag support me. I love it also because uh, last year in summer, Yankos for a t time uh, took it and yeah. it was support king, but it's, yeah. <laughs> it's now back. Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Yeah. Okay. When I left, when I left Europe, um, that was my hashtag. So now that I'm back, you know, it has to still be that one. Right, and I can't wait to see you defending that title. I'm very excited for that for sure. Hashtag support King in the comments if you watch the entire interview. Thank you very much for your time, Mithy, and thank you very much for watching. This was Darius from The Shot Caller. Hope you had a good day. See you guys then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'd especially like to thank Krzysztof Buczniewicz for his support. And if you too would like to support our work, make sure to check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash theshotcallergg. We very much appreciate your support. Thank you.